All right, guys, so let's start this video out with a slideshow. I took the rear axle and the frame and one set of the A-arms and brought them out in front of the shop. I kind of eyeballed it, set it up, and you know, the wheelbase from front to rear seems to be pretty cool. Seems to be okay. But the front, you're looking at it from the front back, it seems like the machine, is, you know, it seems to be too narrow. So I'm not really too sure if I like that or not. I might have to make new A arms and make them wider, make it longer, make it wider. Now the, um, and you can also see that you know it's going to look better with the front tires painted black. So that wooden, that little wooden table that you see in it also is 12 inches off the ground. So I made sure that the frame and everything is 12 inches off the ground. So it seems to be pretty decent ride height. Yeah. I might move the rear tires forward a little bit more. And in this picture, you can see that the front A-arms have been painted. I painted those up uh, or yesterday and let them dry. They're all flat black right now. So let me set up the camera and get inside this thing, and you guys can see how big it is in relation to me. All right. Six foot. So grab a butt pad. Two by fours. See how high I can sit on this thing without it. This thing's going to be big enough for a 250 pound guy. I'm going to have to get, I want to get some different tires for the front end. And I'll use these ones first for a while. Let me move the camera. Maybe you guys might be able to see this a little better. Now and you'll be able to see how I look from the front end. Do this instead. Okay. See, my legs are straight out in front of me now. My back's not even all the way. Yeah, I've got probably about five more inches before I touch the steel in front here. So I'd have enough stroke for gas pedal and brake. My shoulders. And the height of this thing, because I wanted to make sure that it was high enough so when I put the roll bars on here, going straight down, and if I'm driving around, I'm bouncing up and down, I don't want to be smacking my head on the, st <laughs> on the steel. So I wanted it to be big enough for that. Probably have. I might have enough room for like, well, I don't know. You know what I was also thinking about doing also was on the outside here putting a step type of thing right out here. But I'd want to build that out of some real small steel because that's just more weight if I build it out of this kind. So I don't want to do that. So I'm thinking maybe I'll, I might put some type of step thing that comes out right here where if People are people want to ride along. They can jump onto the side here and hang on to the bars. You know what I'm saying? I think that'd be kind of cool. I'd like to give two shout-outs now, uh, not for people that are subscribed to me, but for two people that I'm subscribed to. Now the first one is Chucky Chuck E 2009. Now this guy does a lot of builds. 
not this, not these kind of builds, but he does a lot of welding work. He's built the front bumpers on trucks. He does a lot of explanations on welding. I think he's going to college for it. But that's a channel that's really good. That guy knows a lot of stuff about welding and about fabrication and that sort of thing. And he's uh, he's got a lot of good content. He's got a lot of good explanations on welding, wire, stick, uh, MIG. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of good videos out there. Another guy that you guys should also go check out is uh, well, some of you new subscribers might not know who he is, but uh, some of you older subscribers I've given him a shout out before, and it's uh, Donnie Boy 73. This guy knows a lot about engines. He's got a lot of videos, a lot of content up there on his channel, and he's like he's the small engine doctor. He's like he like knows it all. You know he been doing it for a while if you have any type of engine question or anything like that go check out his channel Donnie boy 73 I would suggest that first before you even decide to start blasting with questions go through his videos use the the search tool on his channel to look for something specific if you're looking for some type of throttle hookup or something like that you know he's he's got a lot of videos up there so search before you ask on his on his channel now remember when I, in my last video, when I mentioned that it's so hard to find people out there between the 50,000 subscriber and the 100,000 subscriber mark? Well, I've been going out there looking around trying to find, and I think I found eight. And the last guy that I found was uh, Matthias Wandel. Matthias Wandel, I think that's how it's pronounced. M-A-T-T-H-I-A-S. W-A-N-D-E-L. And this guy does a lot of woodworking stuff, and he's got some outstanding work. Straight out outstanding. Not necessarily doing houses or anything like that, not that kind of woodwork, but he builds like marble mazes, and he's built some, a lot, he builds everything out of wood, and he is really, really good. So if you guys are into doing builds with wood, he's one guy that I would recommend to anybody. And, surprisingly enough, he's one of the guys, one of the eight that I found, and he's got at like 95,000 subscribers right now. So, the thing is here, I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of homework. To the first person who can find 10 channels out there that fit within the 50 and the 100,000 subscriber mark, if you can find 10 channels, post them down below this video, and I'll send you a set of stickers. So, with that, everybody, I'm going to get on out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. Hello, guys. I uh, still haven't quite made up my mind on what I want to do with this rear end. I can't, I can't, uh, somebody had posted before in my last video that I should try taking uh, the, the jack shaft part where the driver, dri where, where the driven is sitting and make that part of the piston or make that part part of the jack shaft. But I can't do that because. I only have certain amount of room to work with. So I don't want to have to buy a new belt. I don't want to have to adjust anything. I need to build this rear end according to the parts that I already have. So that's going to make it a little bit, that, that makes everything a little bit more difficult. And I only have 10 inches, roughly about 10 inches to work between the shaft of the engine and the jack shaft, which is why I would have to put in another jack shaft in there somewhere to create a, a a normal pivot. I don't want anything too offset because that just screws up with the swing of the rear swing arm. So I've already played around with that idea if you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's gotta be set up a certain way and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I'm still plugging away on that. So that's where I'm at with this, you guys. And I'm gonna get on out of here and I'll see you guys most likely Tuesday. So. Or maybe Wednesday morning. I don't know. Bye-bye. <laughs>